Friday, December 28th, 4 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to look at some exclusive video footage from Lower Manhattan. I've got multiple reports from people that witnessed the sky turning a brilliant bright blue around 9.15 p.m. last night on the 27th, much like it did a thousand miles away 18 hours earlier in Kenner, Louisiana. And the only thing that these two places have in common, other than a couple of transformers erupting, turning the sky bright blue, is this giant storm. And that's why I'm revisiting uh, this storm again that extends well over 1,200 miles from the Gulf of Mexico to the northern tip of Maine. Everywhere in between has some moisture, whether it be heavy rain, light rain, and in some areas, snow. It does have high winds, or at least wind gusts, as you can see here from weather.cod. But the winds aren't that strong. I mean, they're 20, maybe 30 mile an hour gusts here and there, but not anything that we haven't seen in the past. But for whatever reasons, when this storm started yesterday, early in the morning, around 3 a.m. in Kenner, Louisiana, transformers erupted, throwing sparks into the air and turning the sky a brilliant bright blue. This gentleman here by the name of Giovanni caught video footage of this spectacle, electricity running up and down the power lines in front of gas stations in this community. Over 10,000 people lost power for several hours. You can see here, this is a good picture from this video of the sky, a brilliant bright blue. This went on for the better part of a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Here you can see sparks flying. Um, for whatever reasons, they still don't know if it was the wind, if it was just something that occurred. Um, don't know. All I do know is 18 hours later, 1,100 miles away, same situation occurred again in the path of this storm. New York sky turns bright blue after transformers erupt. The only thing different uh, with this situation here it was an entire substation. And I do have exclusive video footage that was sent in from yesterday evening's sky spectacle. As you can see, the New York horizon here, the skyline, is a brilliant bright blue. It looks like some sort of a space spectacle. I mean, it was quite the event. One of the videos that I have is over eight miles away from the center of this substation or where the substation was located. And it was probably visible even farther than that. In fact, we're going to take a look at the video right now. This first video was sent in by Chris. It was taken from the Bronx area, which would be north of this substation. So we're looking to the south southwest. And you can see the sky is bright blue. And this went on, from what I understand, for nearly five minutes. People were just mystified at what was going on. Because usually when this occurs, it doesn't last this long. It maybe sometimes will only last a few seconds. I was in a hurricane that took out several transformers, smaller ones that were on poles. And it was maybe a two or three second event. This went on, um, the next video you're going to see, the video is a little over two minutes long, and the young lady that filmed the video said she watched it for approximately two minutes before she started filming. So she said all in all, the total event lasted almost five minutes long. And this is another look from the Bronx. This is still Chris recording from um, up in a high rise, looking out over the city. And then I've also got video footage from Kay Jones at Twitter that was very, very close right here to this event. I mean, this person is within a few hundred yards of this event. This is Kay Jones, 4215 at Twitter. Look at that. And again, the cause is unknown. You've got two of these events that occur within 18 hours of each other, 1,100 miles apart, and the one thing that they have in common, other than they're both el electrical events, is that big storm. This was taken from Jamaica, New York, which is south, southeast of this event. Now we're looking to the north. And she said this went on for nearly five minutes. There's Jamaica. There's the substation. It's over eight miles away. Look at that. And it looks very similar to the sky in Louisiana. Look at that. 
Looks like something from space. And keep in mind, she was watching this for approximately two minutes before she started recording. And it just kept going and going. So something that lasted this long, they weren't sure exactly what it was at the time. But that covers a huge area. And remember, this person's over eight miles away. Eight miles away. So it was probably visible 20 miles away. Maybe 50, who knows? It's filling the, the entire night sky with blue light. And she's pointing out here that she's looking to the north. north. To the north. New York City. North of New York City. This is a very heavily populated area. What I've inserted in the upper left. The first time I'm seeing this in my entire life. And she said that's the first time she's ever seen anything like this in her entire life. And in the upper left hand corner, that's what was causing it. It was a a transformer over eight miles away that for unknown reasons caught on fire and there it just stopped it suddenly stopped and then the sky goes back to its normal color and you can see there are um, heavy clouds in the area and that's what's lighting up the sky the, the the lights the city lights are illuminating the clouds those those are low clouds and it just stopped very abruptly so that's oh the personality God, of a transformer. But for it to last that long is kind of an unprecedented event. Here it is again up close. This is uh, Kay Jones, who was literally within a few hundred yards of this event. And that's the New York City skyline that looks like there's a giant mothership parked above it. Just an unbelievable scene. And you got to keep in mind, this same event or this same type of event occurred 18 hours earlier down in the New Orleans, Louisiana area. Same type of event. Here you're looking at on Google Earth, this is one of the five transformers or substations that was smoking and, and letting off this huge blue light last night. Don't know exactly which one, but this is the area of the substations that did create this huge sky spectacle last night that was witnessed by probably hundreds of thousands of people and here it is from ground uh, ground level and it's one of these right over here and believe it or not there weren't that many people that lost electricity from this event from what I'm understanding I looked at poweroutages.us and normally when we see something like that even in Louisiana it was yellow under the minor outage event category because it was over 10,000 and they got the power restored rather quickly, but in the New York area, it never showed up on the map. For as big of an event as that was, it did not disrupt the electricity like I thought it would. I think LaGuardia had some delays at the airport, but other than that, you know, thankfully it wasn't a big power outage event, and it could have been. And as long as it lasted for nearly five minutes, you would have thought that a lot of people would have lo uh, lost electricity. I did go to spaceweather.com just out of curiosity to see if there was anything going on with regard to solar wind. Not that that would necessarily have anything to do with what we just saw there. But there, there was a geomagnetic storm in progress, a very small one at that. We were seeing northern lights in the Arctic Circle, not any, anything uncommon once again. And that was courtesy of this uh, coronal hole that was emitting solar wind. The high-speed high solar wind was not that high. It was under 600 kilometers per second. Density was very shallow, so not a big deal. Nothing that we haven't seen in the past many, many times. So it didn't, at least according to this at spaceweather.com, have anything to do with space. There wasn't anything with regard to large power outages in the area. The only thing both areas had in common was this very large, what I'm calling a superstorm that extends well over 1,500 miles. But for whatever reasons, in the area of New York, near the Bronx, down around lower Manhattan, and near New Orleans, Louisiana, they both saw transformer electrical events that lit up the night sky a brilliant bright blue. All right, guys, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.